Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel, my name is Shinx and today we're gonna take a look into the Dominion faction in the Battle for Tamriel mod for BFME 2 The Rise of the Witch King on the beautiful map Forts of Eisen. Let's get it started. And we are against Empire, that's nice, it's not a mirror match. And we have only two factions available yet, but again, they are planning to add 11 factions in total. So let's build some resource buildings, always make sure that they are at 97% or higher to get the maximum value which is 25. Is time to build. That's how the fortress is looking like. And I also enabled the ring heroes, hopefully we might get to see uh, Gollum and after killing him we might also recruit potentially a brand new ring hero, would be awesome. I don't know if this is a thing in this mod just yet. Powerpoint wise we are able to pick, this is heal, this one is like war chant or rallying call and this one is like... Um, yeah, Foresight from the Alvin faction, it's gonna give us vision and more range. So it's pretty similar to the Alvin faction's Foresight. But I like the design, I like the design quite a lot. Let's go for one more farm, and one more farm behind. That's not gonna be 97 person unfortunately, but it is how it is. Let's build around 88, there we go, nice. Alright. Hopefully, in this game, we will be able to unlock every single PowerPoint from the Spellbook just to see what they are able to do. And also, of course, we're gonna take a look into all the possible heroes we are able to recruit. And we have in total seven heroes, just like with the Faction Empire. So now, we can build a barracks right here. Once again, you wanna make sure that there is no space between to, you know, just make sure that the resource buildings are protected. I like the design though, the design is looking pretty nice to me. And once again guys, if you wanna download this mod for yourself and play that, I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below, it's really easy to download, I don't wanna make a tutorial about this one, all you gotta do is download that, install that, make sure that your BFME 2 is on the patch 1.06 and your Rise of the Witch King is on the patch 2.02 version 8.3. Other than that, it's gonna be quite easy, trust me on that one, okay. So we have the builder doing absolutely nothing, let's build some more resource buildings. 93 sounds nice if we can do that of course come on now there we go finally let's recruit some archers those are dominion warriors and can stealth near trees i mean that already sounds pretty familiar with the elven faction same also to the archers we have also the pikemen and after upgrading this building to level 2 we will get the chance to recruit the Elden Wood Archers which are gonna be potentially pretty similar to the Midwood Archers and then once level 3 we are able to recruit the Royal Chosen. Okay. You know what? We're gonna also build this right here. And he's attacking us immediately. Oh, he destroyed the building at 0% man. We also lost the money, that's pretty unfortunate. Let's pick the rallying call first. But I don't think we need that because the pikemen are quite vulnerable against archers as you guys know. So let's keep expanding. Let's build one more right here. And then we might actually need potentially something like a tower to protect the bottom side of the map. Let's get one more archer to feel safe. And I would also like to build um, the caravan. I believe that's gonna give us the chance to recruit some cavalry units. Headquarters allows recruiting of Talmo elite units and siege equipment, okay? Pretty nice. Let's build a statue right here. The statue is gonna give us leadership, similar to Rise of the Witch King, and also increase our command points by 10, which is exactly like in Rise of the Witch King. The tower, um, where is the tower at? This is the well, that's the battle tower. Let's build the battle tower right here. Why are you asking? Glad you're asking, because the rocks on the ground are gonna protect this tower. And let's get one archer inside the tower just to have some greater defense. That's always nice. Right now we have only 500 command points available, but that's nice. So from my, you know, the first impression is I believe Empire is pretty much related to the Men of the West faction, and this faction Dominion is pretty much related to the Alvin faction. We're finished with this structure. All right, let's keep expanding a little bit more. 97, if we can. There we go. And once this tower is finished, we're gonna put those archers inside the jeans. And also, important to mention is, you can also build a statue right, you know, next to the tower. And this way you can affect the units inside the tower as well. They're gonna deal more damage, which is always nice. Are we able to recruit any heroes yet? Yes. Oh, they are coming, boys. They are coming, boys. 
Let's get away from this. Let's use rallying call before they go inside the jeans. And... Oh, I mean, this tower is actually pretty squishy, guys, not gonna lie. The rocks are helping quite a lot, but is this gonna be enough to save the day? I'm not sure. Let's build a statue here. Once again, that's gonna give leadership to the units inside the tower. And look how much damage they were able to deal. For now, we are safe. And also, we can potentially build a tower... Um, that's the forge. I'm looking for a battle tower. Let's build a battle tower right here. The units are dying, they can't pass through. And our first hero, <laughs> looking like that, Razumdar. He has the simple Kajit. Uh, Razumdar has the ability to become invisible while standing still. Uh, trade rumors. He collected during the his journeys. We've selected building, select selected structures. Resource output is temporarily raised to 150%, which is pretty nice actually. And we have also Skuma Bomb. Um throws bomb on enemy units. This units will gain 50% speed but lose 15% of their armor and suffer from the poison. Come, stay by my so you are buffing and debuffing them at the same time. We have also enough money, I believe, for the second hero. Yes, there we go. That's gonna be Kamira. Where should we, build? we need to keep expanding though. Our money is not looking that great. We have only 570 command points available. But I wanted to make sure that we have, first of all, some sort of defense. Indeed, let's recruit one more archer for that and put them inside this tower as well. Everything and our dudes here. What is this creep? What are these? These are not the wargs you are looking for. I can't click on them. They called Spriggan. They are also dealing a lot of damage to our hero though. That's crazy. And here they come boys. Hey, attack them back maybe. What do you think about that? Don't watch them attacking you. Sometimes it's kind of questionable because even in the aggressive stance, which would mean they need to auto automatically attack whenever they can, they don't. So let's put them inside this tower. This way we have a bit more defense and we can keep expanding at the very same time. Let's build two of these. Um, 95 sounds good. Nice. Our second hero looks like that, Kamira. I believe he's an archer hero, if I'm not mistaken, right? That's how they are looking like, by the way. Pretty nice design, I need to say. Uh, paralyzing shot. Pins enemy hero. Cripple ability from Lourdes is pretty similar. And we have the knife fighter, similar to the Legolas from the Alvin faction. We have the heir of Rimen. Allied Khajiit troops near Kamira gain more damage, more armor, and also more combat experience. And last but not least, Magic Portal, Teleport Allied Units. Oh, that's pretty nice, actually. Not only himself, but also the Allied Units, which yes. can be very effective in some situations. You know what I was mess what I was messing up with? We need to get the Eagle Banners to reduce the cost and build time of Dominion Heroes. So that's gonna make them cheaper. I don't know how much. I'm almost assuming around 10%, if I'm not mistaken. Wait for this one first, because what's gonna happen is... They're gonna get cheaper. Watch now. From 1,800, it's gonna drop down to 1,620. She is gonna drop down. That's the green lady. Oh, 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 all right. I see you now. Hey, my dudes. Why don't you attack this? Ah, oh, but they didn't die, actually. I'm, I'm okay with that. They didn't die. You know what we can always do? We can build a magic well for a sustain. And our heroes are leveling up like crazy. You can destroy the rubble to get the money. In level 3. Pretty nice. Just like that. Just like that. Just build another tower here. And unlike with the Empire faction, we have no rebuild. That means we need to keep those towers protected. That's a hero, I believe. No, that's from the creep at the bottom right side of the map. Okay. Okay, creep secured. Level 3 unlocked. That's pretty nice. We can now use that potentially on one of our resource like buildings, maybe on this one, to get, a bit, to get a bit more money, you know? Always nice. For you to learn your place. Let's put battle these pikemen right in front of our archers in the porcupine formation to make sure to protect them. In the porcupine formation plus hold ground stands, they're gonna be extremely tanky. The enemy is here. It's, an invasion. it's an invasion! Where are they? They're here, okay. You know what? We have the green lady on the fields now. What is she able to do? She's a swordsman, I believe. Yeah, she's a swordsman. Has actually knife fighter. It's like two swords in her hands. Pretty nice. And now we are also able to recruit uh, Sivana. 
right after. This hero is pretty expensive. Galerion. Okay, so let's use our heroes to level them up a bit. Uh, and also what I would love to build is the caravan building. Oh, but this is also something... 97 person. Okay, I'm down. I'm down, I'm down with that. Oh, oh. Here they come, boys. Here they come. Let's get the building to level 2. They can't pass through, as you can see. Ready your tools. Ready your tools. You should trust your Unfortunately, teams. we end up losing this tower. I mean, this uh, resource building it right there. Sorry for that. How they are called, by the way? Let me check. They are called uh, Vineyards. They are trampling into the pikemen. They have no chance. They're gonna die. They have Stacho behind for the leadership. They're gonna deal more and more damage. Level 5 is the maximum. What happened? Hold on a second. They are dying quite fast, actually. The spikemen are killing our units in no time. Ah, we lost the green lady. Sorry for that one. We gotta get her back on the field. The loving mother of Wallenwood. So, we can't lose the mother. Come on now. Hey guys, you need to heal up a bit first before doing anything else. But you can always keep shooting, Kamira. You have your range advantage. I couldn't click on them. We have double archer battalion now. This is also archer Sivana. She has the sacred alliance uh, damage boost for the nearby allied units. Sivana and green lady. So she's gonna make herself and green lady stronger. Okay. Piercing shot. The war is far we will go hey, soon. Don't dive into much. Let's use aggressive stance. Don't lose the pikemen if we can. Let's use porcupine formation. Oh, we're gonna lose them, right? Why are archers not shooting? I don't get it. Okay. She's almost back and we will get the chance to recruit the Lord Narifin. Recruit the greatest Tamo general. Well, well, the Emperor himself. Come to what? Duel me? You think you can stop me? Is that it? So he sounds very arrogant. I like that. <laughs> okay. You know what? Uh, did we build the other building? Yes, we did. Here we are able to recruit some different units. Uh, Sange Pride. Strong versus Cavalry and Archers. Let's take a look into that. Our Barracks is level 2 now. That's great. We will get the chance to recruit the Elven or Elden Wood Archers rather. Not Elven. And just to feel a bit more safe, I would love to build yet another tower right here. And we also need to keep expanding at the very same time. As we lost a farm around this area. Let's do this. Like an and a green lady is back on the field. That's nice. We will go soon. Let's use whole crown stands with the melee fighter. We have almost the money we need for the Lord, for the greatest general of Talma, Talmor. But our heroes are feeling a bit squishy. They are dying actually quite fast. Oh, she's also a sword fighter. Hey, hey, hey. Let's use heal to not lose him. I can't click on them. We have now the stronger archers on the field. They exactly look like, uh, say it, the midput archers. I like that. We also need to build a battle tower right here to protect this farm. Did we lose a hero once again? No, we didn't. Okay. We are fine. We are fine. Oh, she, he has everything unlocked. Let's use this. I want to see this ability. Did we use it? No, we don't. We didn't use it. What is this builder doing there? He's running it down, literally. Let's upgrade this tower as well. This is already upgraded. That's nice. And Lord Narifin has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, he's a bit more tanky. Yeah, he's kind of a bit more tanky. I mean, this dude is level almost 8, he has 2300 health, and this guy with level 1 is 2800 health, so he's gonna be way, way stronger. Look, our pow power points are rising to this guy. Anyways, Bandari Opportunities. When enabled, all kills from Khajiit troops and heroes will gain extra resources for 60 seconds, so it's not the best thing in the world, I guess. Elden uh, Groove. It's a buff which doesn't stack. I mean, obviously with this one, so picking double bath is always questionable. The Smiling Scum summons three hordes of uh, Ren Ria, Ren Ria, what? Ren <laughs> Renizra Kren under your control. It's a summon. And I believe that's going to be the best thing that we can actually choose. Let's pick up this one. Okay. The power points are rising to the sky, ladies and gentlemen. 
Let's put these units inside the tower and also upgrade this tower. Let's get one, one more of these. You guys can peel back to the well to sustain. Let's group all our heroes together under one banner. Our um, resource buildings can also be a bit better. Let's build some more farms, mainly to increase our command points. That's going to be the main reason for that. 50% is okay for this one, you know? And he's quite tanky too. I like that. Now we have only two heroes left. Uh, we have the Queen Iren. Iran. <laughs> and then we have also Vanus Galerion. And he's also very expensive. And remember, we have even this upgrade, which is going to make them 10% cheaper. And still, he will cost 3,600. So, pretty expensive hero. Then this guy is sitting like a truck, my dude. What's going on? Does he, have Does he have splash damage? Yeah, look, he's able to hit multiple units at the same time. Rage of Narifin. Throws a ball of energy. Say no more. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, run for your life, my friend. Can you get away? It looks like we can get away. Let's use whole crown stance. Let me this way he can't make any shenanigans. Now, this hero might be in trouble. Hey, I give you whole crown stance. Normally, in the whole crown stance, they are not able to do that. Please run away. Okay. Should be fine. And this guy, for example, does do nothing. In the melee range, and this guy is trying to fight. Okay, we have enough money now for the for the lady, for the queen. That's great. And I would also love to build a forge. That is the Dominion Forge. Say no more. Let's build it right here. So we have a tower here, but for now, it, it seems like... What is this? Did we, what is this? Did we kill somebody? I think we killed Gollum, guys. What is this on the ground? Is this supposed to be the ring or something? The Elder Scroll. Oh, nice. I'm excited. I want to see that. And bring it to the fortress, my boy. Oh, nice, dude. That's great. Come on now. Let's see. I want I want to also see the animation, how it looks like once it's on the fortress. Is it going to look like a ring? No, it's not looking like the ring, my boy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to give us the chance to recruit Reed, Tar, Ridata, Main, of Elsewhere. So, use the Elder Scroll to summon the spiritual leader of Kajit, people and his Lunar Champions. And once again, I don't have any knowledge about Elder Scrolls, so don't blame me on that one. I have no clue what I'm talking about. But first of all, we're gonna recruit Galerion before anything else. Okay, that's the plan. We are almost there, money wise. There we go, finally. Once again, I wanna group all the heroes under one banner. Or. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, my dudes, go inside the jeans. Get in safety before you get trampled. Oh, that was really close. That was really close. But we are fine. Look at them hitting like an absolute truck, boys. In the meantime, they are also coming from the bottom side, but little they know they have, they have two towers here protecting ourselves. And maybe we're even gonna go for the third one. The battle for Middle-earth and the three towers in this case. They have no chance. The Silverton arrows are coming in clutch. Hey, hey, hey! My dudes, run. Do we need to use heal? Maybe yes, but no, not for now. Just peel back. I wanna see what the queen is able to do, but for now let's get in safety. And we have almost the money also for this guy. Not really. But we have a lot of power points collected. So, with the 31 power point we have collected so far, we can either choose the Alinor's Radiance. I believe it's going to be something like a claw break, stun enemy units, slowly heal allied units across the map, and replace several dead men. For I mean, it's very similar to the claw break. Then we have also Talmor Conspiracy. Uh, enemy units in selected radius begin, begin to fight against each other. That sounds pretty promising, but you know what? It's good when we pick this one. Why are you asking? Because if you pick this one, we can either choose one of these. But if you pick this one, we can only choose this one, okay? That's the reason why I want to pick this one for, for now. If also a mounted hero, or a qu actually our queen is mounted, let's get this mounted. I mean, how they are able to pass like that? Don't lose the hero. Oh my goodness, we are forced to heal boys, but it is so it is. In the meantime, this tower has been taken down. Does he have heroes or something? It looks like it. You know what? We need to replace these towers, boys. Protect this farm, please. Oh, the one battalion was able to pass through. Oh, boy. Forge. Upgrade this one. ASAP. The builder is running around. We need to get at least one more of these archers. Oh, he's actually running it down on the troll. He's trying to capture this... In. That's what it is. 
He couldn't though, that's nice. We can now kill the troll, no big problemo. The troll is also looking pretty nice to me. In the meantime, this guy is trying to run it down. Can he teleport? Please use it. Okay. Okay. We stunned them. Okay, that was necessary though. We stunned them there. Otherwise, we would be doomed, guys. Alright, we have another tower here. That's good. Three towers now. Hey, please be careful. You can try to fight. And let's put this units inside the jeans ASEP. Let's build also a statue behind to buff them with additional damage and armor. My friend! Why are you running it down like that? Is this a wizard? Let's find out. Without reading. Oh, it's like the fireball. Pretty similar. Looks like, looks like the lightning strike from Gandalf, but it feels like the fireball from Saruman. Alright. Let's capture this in too. To see what, you know, what for special units we will be able to recruit. This was Lightning Bolt. But he's extremely squishy, so we gotta be careful. We have also no heal available, so we need to be really careful now. Okay, this is finished. That's great. We also need potentially one more. Hey. Defend your master Galerion, my friends. My friends of Middle Earth. Let's build another one. Alright, my friends. Don't kill my builder, I'm telling you. Okay, we are in a safe spot. Money secured. We are able to recruit the crane units. And I know we have not uh, taken a look into the units just yet because we are first of all trying to level up your our heroes now we are also able to recruit our main of elsewhere let's do that the ring hero or the elder scrolls hero in this case okay i mean towers are becoming less and less impactful to be honest with you guys look how long it takes for us to kill those units with like four towers around kind of sloppy kind of slow okay the farm is protected for now that's great Let's group all of them together around this side. Like that. What are you shooting at? Oh, this is a farm from... What? He was building a farm next to us. Are you are you a memer, my boy? <laughs> this guy's a memer for sure, man. Come on now. Let's get the armory to level 3 for the glass arrows. To make the units inside our towers a bit stronger. And then I would just like to peel... You know, I like to fight with heroes almost exclusively. You know what I'm saying? So let's use aggressive stance and fight these men. Our power points though. The Wild Hunt summons Deadrick Prince Hirkind, surrounded by the host of dreadful riders. And then we have also the Crystal Lack Low places a, an illusion crystal tower with summon one of the two ancient elven lords. That sounds pretty nice. Should I use it offensively, guys? Let's use it offensively. I don't know if this is gonna... Oh, this looks nice. They are for free. But maybe the tower... I was expecting the tower to deal damage, but it's definitely not being the case. Now we can also get the arrow upgrade. Our heroes are looking pretty weak. Is he able to do something? Let's use this ability against the backline. Pew! We have healed for the worst case scenario, right? What does this do? Telekinesis. Spell to scatter enemies around him and deal damage. Oh, okay. It's a melee attack kind of thing, right? So it's fine. What is that? Reveals an area. Alright. So it's like a revealing thing. Defender of the Elden Woods. But we gotta peel back. We gotta peel back. We gotta peel back. Is he on the field yet? Yeah, look at this, guys. That's nice. He has even some guards around him. And this is the dude, right? Level 10. We are not able to recruit this guy. What is he able to do? He's also permanent. Gift of Meridia. Umaril summons 6. Okay, we can summon them. And we have also Unfeathered Threat. Jumps to all equation, causing area of effect damage. Uh, Eye Light Magic. Powerful Lightning Spell on selected targets. Let's try this out. I want to see this ability. Is this going to be a ranged one or not? Oh my goodness. I was I wanted to use actually this one. 
it's like a single target kind of thing and last but not least the rage of the sorcerer king he's gonna gain 100 percent damage okay so let's peel back to the well for now i would also like to save him so run for our lives my dude he has some catapults for the defense we already know what it means we might need some uh say it siege weapons for ourselves Let's give... Look, they are also looking like Mirkwoods when you click in... When they are in this inside the tower. Do you see that? You see that? They are looking like Mirkwoods, guys. These are looking like Lorien Archers. So it's pretty similar to the Elven faction. Almost identical, really. Alright, we were able to get away. Now we have... Look how many heroes we have in total. Three, six, nine heroes, boys. Nine heroes. That's amazing. Look at this now. De Good luck dealing with that, dude. <laughs> Good luck dealing with that. It's gonna be a tough one. Let's build a statue behind this one. We have 30 power points collected. Now we can go for the wild hunt. And this one is gonna give us a chance to summon even more. I mean, I'm, I'm actually curious if he's, if he's gonna be permanent or not. Hey, someone was able to sneak through. I don't know how, though. Let's deal with that. We're gonna lose this farm, unfortunately, but it's fine. It's fine. You know what we forget about? We can buy all the upgrades on the fortress. What is that? Chapter of Etonir requires blah, blah, blah. Allows summoning of Valknia provides healing. Oh, nice. So we can even summon more than that. Pretty nice. We have so much money now. All right. They are running it down anyway, but we lost one of the farms. It's okay. We have Because we have still 1,000 command points available. So we are in a good spot. That's great. That's great. Okay. Look at this, boys. How can you deal with that? Even calf units are going down in no time. Slowly heals. Okay, that's the claw break back, back in the business. We have so many powerful heroes now. That's crazy. But I believe soonish we need to... Wait a second. They are looking like wolf packs. Yeah, whole ability. Very similar. Smuggling. I want to see that too. But I want to also see the barracks level 3. For the royal chosen. And we can only recruit 3 of these at the same time. All the upgrades are coming in clutch. We are able to build a wall up expansion, watchtower, or ballista expansion. Let's build ballista expansion to feel safe. For the worst case scenario. And he's sending us units all the time, which I'm happy about because... Jump, my dude. Jump. Look at the range of him jumping, guys. Watch now, please. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, this guy is like a good jumper, my man. He's an Olympic, Olympic uh, participant or something like that. He has also crazy splash damage. That's what I like to see. Power points are rising to the sky. Let's pick this one. We can unlock eventually every single one of them from the spell book. Every upgrade is purchased. Barracks is level 3 almost. And we will, be, we will be able to get the chosen ones. Hopefully they're gonna be quite strong. How they are... Oh, I see you. I see you. He was able to capture this in. That's what it is. That's why he's able to recruit these units. Okay. Now kind of makes sense, I guess. Oh, well. Well, well, well. All the upgrades purchased. We can now go for the last one. Upgrade level 3. Let's to get recruit uh, two of them only. But I thought we are able to recruit three of these. Only three battalions, yeah. But after clicking two, I can't recruit anymore. One of the heroes is always quite low. It's always this dude, Razumdar. I believe he's like a magnet to the enemy units or something. Okay, let's capture this one. In the meantime, I want to read the abilities. This guy, I mean, we have seen him already. He can boost, he can be invisible. This guy, he's level 10 now, paralyzing shot for a pinning enemy heroes. And then we have the knife fighter, just like Legolas. We have the air of Rimen, which is going to be damage or, you know, leadership for the nearby allied units. And last but not least, we have Magical Portal, which is gonna be able, which is gonna be, you know, helping us to get from one location to the other one, right? Our Sivena is also, uh, or was also able to unlock every single ability, which is pretty nice. And uh, that's gonna be a buff for her and for Green Lady. Piercing Shot causes damage and knockdown to enemy. Can only use, uh, you know, while I keep with the bow. And then we have also the Velvet Threat. Allows all targets allies to become stealth, which is pretty nice. Then we have voice of the people. Troops near Sivanar gain 30%. I mean, it's also leadership. And then we have arrows of green sap. Gain significant damage boost. 
it's a passive thing, so she's gonna hit like a truck now. Long story short, Green Lady has leadership, self sacrifice. Green Lady gives 100% armor and 25% weapon damage to the selected hero for 30 seconds, but suffers great damage. Oh my goodness, you can make a hero, any hero you want, double as, you know, twice as strong. Defender of the Elden Wood, Infantry and Arches gain armor and resistant to knockback. And then we have also with level 10, the Master Restoration heals nearby allies, fully refreshes their special. I mean, it's like restoration from Elrond. This guy was able to unlock the Orb of Vermina, reveals an area on the map. And with level 7, we have the Dremora Companion, summons his loyal servant to fight alongside him. That's pretty nice. And then the Calling, and blah, 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 begin the retool of the, of the Calling. Enemy units in selected area deal lesser damage and will suffer from the poison. And after dying, they will turn into the ghost. Our queen has a leadership, is, is able to get mounted, looks also pretty nice. Exoform, gains 100% damage and becomes invulnerable, just like the Blade of Purity from, you know, Glorfindel. With level 7, Queen's Fever will get uh, will give experience to the selected allied units. And then last but not least, with level 9, the True Queen revealed summons battalions of Nomad Riders, Dominion Swordsmen. So pretty much like the Royal Guard from, the, from King Dane. And we have Galerion. Level 5 is gonna unlock the Stone Flash. This is like a, you know, melee ability. Look, at, look in the meantime, everything is falling apart. Um, this is gonna give armor to the selected units. Summon physics? Summons three physics to defend area around him. And last but not least, magic of the old way. Glorian uses ancient physic knowledge to burn enemies in selected radius. I would love to see that, but we need to get six more levels on this dude. And this is our ring hero, boys. Uh, gives armor and damage. All nearby units are immune to fear. Uh, chosen of the Banda, all vineyards and caravans reduce output is temporarily raised by 250. And then we have the Blessed by the Moons. Constantly gives 50% armor and damage to the selected hero. Constantly gives 50% damage and... Oh, that's pretty nice. Constantly. You know what? I would love to do that on our... I want to do that on the wizard. Where are you, my friend? Here, are you, here you are. Okay. Let's make him stronger in this case. Did we do it? Yeah, we did do that. Now he has this thing uh, on his head, you see? Now he will be able to deal 50% more damage. So pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. We have also so many power points collected. Can choose whatever we want. And now, what we can do is go for the attack, boys. How they are looking like? Oh, these are horses. I was expecting them to be uh, archers. Royal choosing, okay? This is level 3 yet. Level 2. Can give them banners. And what we can also do, or what we need to do, is to build siege works, boys. Because I, I believe without siege works, it's gonna be almost impossible to actually break through his defense. We will see about that. Anyways, we have heal from the spellbook, which is nice. We can also try out the wild hunt. And in the meantime, he keeps trying, of course. But without siege weapons, it's gonna be quite tough for him to break through our defense. Alright, so let's. Oh, wait a second. We also are able now to recruit Valkyrie. Okay, so let's go ham. I want to. I want to do that. The wild hand. All right, that's gonna be a summon. Let's use cloud break too. And our guy can now use his abilities. That's like a Rohirrim summon. It feels like. Who's this guy? Okay. My dudes. Go inside the jeans. Like, look how, many, how much he has on the field. It's crazy. Use it. I want to get him level 10, but it's, I think, easier said than done. I believe that's going to be quite tough to get him to level 10. But it's fine. Our Siege Warwick is finished. We are able to recruit the just TCR. Strong versus Heroes, the Ballistas later on, and the Bear Leaves. Our Heroes, we need to always keep an eye on them. And we have the giant eagle. Oh my goodness, that looks nice. Look at this guy, please. 
Do you see him, boys? He has also Wing Blast, right? A Wing Blast with level 5. Just like the Giant Eagle from the Elven faction. Let's peel back. The Skatas are hitting like a truck. Okay. You can do whatever you want. You can use also this one. Call packs. Okay. Now we can summon this thing one more time. Right. Come on now. All near the crystal tower on experience twice as fast. Okay. Okay. That sounds promising. I like that. Look, we have like 10 heroes now on the field, guys. That's pretty nice. Now we gotta get some ballistas on the field for the extra defense. Did we already give them arrows? Nope, we didn't give them. Oh, we did already, okay. But we were not giving them uh, heavy armor just yet. Now we can pick whatever we want, actually. We are only missing out this one. That's gonna be like a, like a buff. Like the like the Alvin Wood, I believe. They have also Arrow Volley. Yeah, Arrow Volley is available. Lots of heroes on the field. Let's get some ballistas and we are ready to go and eventually win this game. I mean, looks pretty fun, especially when you are, I believe, a fan from the Skyrim, from the Elder Scrolls Online kind of thing. Then you're going to enjoy this big time. And he keeps attacking us all the time, which is quite annoying to deal with. He was yet again able to capture this. However, I don't know how. I mean, I'm, I, okay, never mind. He was able to run through with the... He's desperately trying to do that, dude. Let's beat him in. He's going to run it down. Okay. He's desperately, desperately trying. Look at these archers, they are so strong. Even though we have level 5 plus heavy armor, they are almost winning against us. How? These units, though. You know how they look like? They look like in the 300 films, you know what I'm saying, guys? Uh, the elite warriors, you, you know? You know, the Spartans were fighting against them. They were like the undeads or something like that. I don't know, I don't know their name anymore, but they look exactly the way these units are supposed to look. Okay, with all the power points unlocked now from the spellbook. That's nice. More units are coming all the time. That's a hero, I believe, but he's going to be going down as well in a very short time. Let's recruit one of these for the worst case scenario, guys. Let's put the archers back inside the jeans. Someone is dealing a lot of damage to this tower, actually. I believe that's a, that's a hero, right? Let's see how long he's going to withstand this much damage. I want to see that. If the archers inside, it's going to be quite tough for him. Let's see. Pew, 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 Like, it's the, in the Matrix, you know? By the way, guys, what do you think about the Matrix 4 trailer? The Resurrection, uh, I, I, I was not, like, very surprised. Or I was not very happy either, you know? Because Neo does look like John Wick to me, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't look at all like Neo anymore. I don't know, maybe it's me. But I would love to hear your opinion also. Let me know in the, in the comment section down below. I mean, I'm excited also about this mod. Because we have right now only two factions available, but as the, go, as the time goes on, we might get the chance to see 11 brand new factions, which is very promising, actually. There is a lot of work put into that, all the new heroes with the new designs, graphics, the buildings, everything is looking quite unique. Very new. Alright, so let's go ham, guys. Let's go ham. Let's go ham. Let's, I want to I wanna see them. Strong versus infantry and pikemen. They're also not very expensive, though. Are we able to recruit anything else? Nope. We have full the things. Population? That's how they look like. Royal choosing. What? Hold on a second. These are the royal chosen? But I thought these are the royal chosen. I'm actually quite confused. I'm really confused. Oh my goodness, it's a huge army. Hey, hey, it's time for us to shine, boys. Look this now, please. Look this now, please. You are always tempting to die. Look the wing blast. Holy quackamole. The wing blast is coming in clutch from our giant eagle, boys. We have no sustain, right? No, we have no sustain. But you know what we gotta do? We gotta use this. There are our ballista set. Let's give them all the upgrades first. Let's group them with our heroes. Also this level 5 unit because they are useless. Right now they don't do anything. This and this can be all together number 1. Then we are going to build a offensive well. This means we don't need to go all the way back all the time. There are command points capped too. Which means we need to try to win the game with the units we have around right now. 
Again, I'm not worried about the situation, not even a little bit. Our units are hitting like a truck. We have four towers for a great defense. And these are the elite units or the special units we are able to recruit from the inn. Once again, wait for the well to be finished. I was actually surprised that he was never attacking from the top right side. So let's scout the area at the top right side. Okay. This is this guy is always going ham, you know? Always going ham. Don't lose the catapults or the ballistas, right? Huh? Please don't lose them. Don't lose them. Okay, we are fine, we are fine. Alright. Ballistas are doing a fantastic job. But this is so hard for this guy to level up, you know? This is gonna also affect the heroes. Who knows? We will we will find out eventually. Let's build the second well. To speed up the healing progress a bit. Because unlike in BFME 1, you need multiple wells in this game to be able... Oh, look. They were able to kill the troll too? Oh my goodness. Horses which are killing troll. That's pretty rare. Build this down. We need to peel back. We need to peel back. We need to peel back. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Do we have heal? Yes, we have heal. Let's use it. I don't want to risk the biscuit boys. We can't recruit them. Though. Recruit him, right? No, you can only have one of these on the field at the same time. Where is our ring hero? Oh, we can use this once again? You know what? I want to use this on this guy. I don't know if this is possible or not. And now, with this actually, you can buff multiple heroes and make them permanently stronger. Which is amazing. Come on now. We did use it. So let's peel back a little bit. We lost one of... Uh, no, we didn't lose any of these ballistas. That's pretty nice. Arches are dealing almost no damage against ballistas, by the way. Hey, guys, what you doing? Destroy this already, dude. Look, they are not able to destroy this. For whatever reason. Anyways, it's fine, it's fine. Uh oh Don't lose the ballista. You know what? We're gonna build even a well number three. Because the magical number is three. Did we lose a hero? I don't think so, right? Let me check. Nope, we are fine, we are fine. Okay. I'm actually kinda surprised that this is not able to shoot. You know what I'm saying? And we have also no big summons here. Like, you know, it's not like we have a crazy summon, you know? I mean, they are really confused, these horses. Once they are level 5, the magic spears. Royal chosen throw magic spears that causes damage and knock down enemy. Alright, guys, you write it down, please. Nice, okay, you finally make a move. That's great. We have all the upgrades purchased, every building. What we need is level 3. We can also group these units to, bu to push from the bottom side eventually. And with three wells around, we're gonna heal up in no time once we are damaged. Let's destroy this with the ballistas. We cannot recruit any more units right now. As we are command points kept since a really long time and they are not able to attack buildings. Is this something like... Let me check. Strong versus all... I mean, there is nothing that says us that they are not able to attack buildings. They are not able to attack buildings, boys. Maybe it's a bug. Maybe it's intended. I cannot confirm or deny. But I can tell you that this guy with this has now 200% damage. And I want to see his damage against the fortress of the Empire faction. My dude! Oh, we lost him. I was not paying attention. Do you see his damage, boys? Oh, that's a tower, right? That's not a fortress yet. I was like, what's going on? You want to fight, my friend? You want to fight? Get this. Pew! Looks like the Rogash jump. You know, Rogash from the Engma faction in Rise of the Witch King looks very similar. I mean, this guy is always running it down. He's always in danger, guys. I don't know. I don't know what I what I need to say. But I can tell you that we lost this hero, unfortunately. Okay. Ballistas. Maybe you need to make some work, my friends. And we need more, more Ballistas. Unfortunately, we have no fire and our damage output from the Ballistas is kind of questionable. Could be much, much better. Hey, guys, please stop going in. This guy is like really brave, you know what I'm saying? Like he want to always fight. Fight, 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 fight. Let's build a battle tower right here, my dude. Right here and we're going to put these elite units inside the jeans. I don't know if they are stronger than the Mirkwood Arches or these Arches, you know? The wood arches can't say anything about that. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. And 
I mean, I'm not gonna revive him. I'm gonna revive him, but he's actually making me mad, dude. He's always running it down. He's always running it down. Okay. Spamming lots of units on us. Hey, my dude. Are you strong enough? Queen's Fever. Oh, the Eagle. The Eagle is taking so much damage from this tower. Holy quacamole. Okay, more ballistas are coming. We gotta peel back with the Queen too. The trebuchets are hitting like a truck. The build is down. That's nice. Queen, you peel back, please. In the, in the meantime, our wizard isn't able to level up. It is how it is, though. I want to see this damage against uh, this trebuchet on top of the wall. Doesn't deal too much damage. Doesn't one-shot. We can make another hero stronger now. But for now, we, we have to peel back. We have to peel back. We have to... I'm actually curious if we can use it multiple times. You know what I'm saying? Use it on this guy. On Or on Green Lady. Rather. Oh, you know what? We can do this now. And use it immediately once again. That's pretty nice. The restoration. Hey, my dude. Please peel back, wizard. We gotta, we gotta heal him, boys. We gotta heal him, boys. Okay. Let's build a statue here. For the worst case scenario. Okay. So, let's heal up a little bit. We need to get some more uh, ballistas on the field and then we are good to go. We have rights now. One is coming. And we have four, five. So, that's gonna be a different story now with five. Okay, you go ahead, guys. Here's even a marketplace. I mean, once again, Empire is very similar to the Man of the West faction, while, um, you know, this faction we are playing with, Dominion, is very similar to the Elven faction, from my personal, you know, impression. After now, the second game. Okay. So let's go ahead now. The Eagle has to be patient, though. Where is the Eagle at? Oh, he can also get dismounted? I mean, he has to... Because he's dying in a second. My dude. You, you did get dismounted here. Don't die, please. There's also heroes now on the field. The queen was able to take him. Lord has been taken down. It's fine. I mean, eventually we need to lose heroes, right? So, guys, you take down this fortress, please. This guy, of course, is gonna die. I'm not even surprised about that. He's always dying. How much damage against buildings? Almost nothing. Almost zero damage dealt. The eagle was able to get healed. You need to run, guys. You need to run, all of you. Where is the eagle at? Oh, that's the eagle. For 15 seconds, they gain... Okay, we need to peel back. Alright, now we have a lot of ballistas. We can make, you know, let them do the job. Lost two heroes, but it's fine. Okay. We are in a fantastic spot. We can even use this big boy right here, right now. But we're gonna. Oh, that's the one which makes them fight against each other. Okay, my bad. This one was the thing what I was looking for. It's a big summon. Heal up a little bit faster. Come on now. We have three wells, dude. You need to heal up a bit faster, guys. Okay, let's use this. I want to see this against the against the archer range to so see how much damage it's gonna deal. You know, it's very similar to the big wolf from Engma faction, the big summon. Let's see this. The pierce damage. Okay, this is like a spear throw. What is that? Okay, we have a lot of units on the field. And now we can commit with the heroes at the same time. I believe he has not many production buildings left on the field. This might be even the last. If we can take it down, we're going to be victorious, guys. I hope this was enjoyable for you. If it was, please don't forget to leave a like. And also follow me on my, on my Twitch channel for some BFME live streams. As we are victorious just like that. And I think we're going to continue also with the Age of the Ring campaign very, very soon. The two towers one, I was not able to play that just yet. This one was pretty fun though. I like the fact that they've you know made this many changes, many, many reskins. Everything is brand new. And that's only the beginning with the two factions we got. We will get in total, that's the plan of them, 11, guys. It's 11 brand new factions. Not 
Additionally, you know, not in total 11 factions with the existing ones, no, 11 brand new ones. It means we will have nothing like Man of the West, Dwarves or something like that. That's gonna be all based on the Elder Scrolls on the Skyrim. I was having fun. They have also added some new maps and I'm, you know, looking forward for the updates they're gonna make, make in this mod. Let me know what you think about this mod, please, in the comment section down below. And once again, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out.